Hello, this is Trog, and today I am starting a brand new fresh Skyblock world. And uh, I've had quite a few people suggest this in the comments. So in this version of Skyblock, since it is still 1.16, I will be teleported straight to the nether. Now I'm trying to think uh, about the best way to do this. If I need any materials here before we go. I don't think so, so let's just get right into that. As soon as we pick up the dirt, we'll be teleported. So I got a really smart comment from uh, my last tutorial video on Skyblock, and that was how to escape the nether. But they suggested that instead of making a basalt generator, that we use... Uh, that you could only use wood for this. So let me show you what they meant. So you can use a hoe to quickly get this warped wart uh, blocks here. And after you collect all of them, you can use a composter to get bone meal from it. And with the bone meal, you would have infinite bone meal because it doesn't take too many bone meals to grow this stuff. Uh, so let's try that. If we make a composter and we'll put it here, we can then fill this up, get bone meal, and after getting all this bone meal, we can use it to make more trees and in turn get more warped uh, warped wart. That way the path that we go back to the overworld will be, uh, we'll be able to spawn, uh, we won't be able, we won't have to spawn any mobs to do it. So I'm just gonna clear this area out. I really wanna see if this works because if it does, then we would be able to make a basalt generator with the packed ice, or sorry, with the blue ice and the lava over at the normal Skyblock Island, which uh, would be really cool that we didn't have to come to the nether in order to do that until we had silk touch. So let's give that a try. Oh no! No! Oh no, I placed the... The warped warp block right here and it would got... Uh, it in the... In... Oh, the Nylium's gone now. Okay, well... I... I failed. It was my fault. If this plan didn't work, it was because of me. <laughs> because of my stupidity gosh I didn't even think I forgot that putting blocks on the thing would get rid of nylium oh oh that's that's bad okay so new plan we're gonna try to block out and hopefully I don't even know why I'm still using this composter uh, we're gonna block out we're gonna use most of what we have here to make the slabs so hopefully we are able to get there and I'm going to save 16 wood so that we can uh, make tools if we need to. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't know about this. There's only 20 left. <gasps> okay, we did it. <laughs> That's good anyway. Uh, so we're able to at least get to the portal uh, with the slabs that we did, which is good that that makes sure that this is spawn proof. Let me just spawn proof everything else here while I'm at it just because uh, I want to. So not quite everything, but almost uh, maybe if we get rid of this, we can. Okay. Boom. Spawn proofed almost everything. <laughs> okay. So, we can go through the overworld, but we definitely don't have enough blocks 
even to make a farm. Uh, so, uh, that was a fail on my part, but, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to make that basalt generator after all and get going. Maybe we can make it at the other island instead. So, let's make the basalt generator. I'm gonna put my stuff in this chest just in case we fall off. Uh, but we need lava, ice, uh, I guess some blocks, and the soul soil. So, soul soil goes on bottom. Uh, let's make it so basalt comes out right here. No, that might be a little annoying. Okay, let's just make this come out three blocks here, and we'll put the basalt generates here. Uh, one block above this. So we put that there. The basalt. Uh, do we have any basalt on us? Now we do. Basalt will generate here. And that means that ice needs to be above it. And we'll use the rest of this basalt to make it a bit less sketchy to work with. So I want the lava source to be here. And it'll flow over to there. I believe you can make it uh, the lava source actually can be right here so that's what we'll do and then we'll put uh slabs over it but if we take this lava don't get burned by it and grab our pick oh no don't go through we should get some basalt perfect okay so that works just fine now i want to make sure that uh, nothing can spawn around any of these areas. And I will get to grinding away at this generator here. So, yep. I will see you guys in a bit. Aw, oh, man. Not enough there. I I died. I, I'm so close. I almost finished my bridge. It's so beautiful. Uh, this is a trog bridge. Uh, if you didn't know, it's, it's my favorite type of bridge. I invented it. But <laughs> it's... There were there were monsters and this was a bad time. So I guess we are getting with the normal skyblock start now <laughs> just to get back to the nether so that I can mine more of the basalt and make it finally come over here. But it's a it's a, a windy little path. I thought it would look cool. And I figured we do that for all the other islands. Give it some character and ugh. Ugh. Give it some character as well as some different places that we can build some stuff off of. So, uh, that'll be fun. But I almost did a dumb thing and it's gone. No. <laughs> you know, if if you ever wonder like, hmm, am I bad at Skyblock? No. Probably not. I'm the one that's bad at Skyblock. And I help update the map. Like, ugh. Oh, I'm, ugh. How do I even do this? <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. So we're just going to do our, our normal stuff here and make everything. And the reason all the recipes are, are there is because uh, since I'm the map maker, I have to deal with a lot of different blocks and stuff like that. And since this is I didn't clear any of the, uh, the data from myself, that is what it looks like. So. Uh, if you want to know weird things, it's one, night one, phantoms would spawn, which is what killed me. And two, I have all of the recipes in the game because apparently that is what the game wants me to have since I've like tested all the advancements out. So I got all that stuff. But we are here to collect a sapling and we got some sticks. Okay, we've got a sapling and we've got two saplings. Perfect. So, I will start off by uh, getting this tree chopped the rest of the way down. doesn't really matter if the leaves fall off because we already have the three or the, the two saplings here. So, we'll put that back. And now we can get back to more mining, but I... I knew something like that was going to happen eventually where I was going to die. Is that a... That's a zombie villager. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. <laughs> we put the water there, break the ice, it flows there, then we get the lava, and now there's a, a, 
for a second, I didn't think it was going to go, and I was very scared. I didn't know what I did wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. So, and now we take our crafty table here, and we'll put it right here so we don't break anything. Uh, it stops us from mining what we don't want, and we'll do this. The water will be free-flowing, or will not be free-flowing. It will stay this way forever, so we can even do this and get rid of of all this dirt here because it doesn't matter since the water's flowing into there. Kind of cool. Yay, we have a stack of cobblestone. So that is definitely enough to get us over there. Let's just make some slabs. And how do I want to connect? I was going to connect around this area, but I'm thinking over here now because this is kind of like a stepping stone. So... <laughs> We're gonna do something really dumb and this is gonna be like a ladder where you like do 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 all the way up and This is neat gonna need to be a slab. So we will have to jump but in the meantime Oh, this is difficult. I might as well use two slabs instead So we finished our quest. We are now able to run across the trog bridge to get back to the nether where we have a lot of resources do we have a lot of resources back there? Uh, we have a double, or the equivalent of a double chest. Not like of stuff, but you know. Let's see what we got. So we have another lava bucket that is huge, a composter. Eh, we didn't have that much here. But it was enough to, to have to come back for it. And we've got this very nice uh, generator here that will give us enough See how much faster that is than cobble? See, I... If... If you don't... Later on, to start off the map, the first thing I'm going to recommend doing is going and getting the enough... The materials to make this generator because it is so much faster than cobblestone. Look at that. It's just... Oh, it's so much better. Well, all, uh, all I need is a few. That way I can connect it. How much are we at? Uh, we're going to need like maybe half a stack, maybe a stack. So although it is very dark and kind of scary right now, we are able to get a cobble generator and a basalt generator going as well as some farms and attract all the monsters. Uh, I'm going to have to put some torches up there. This is why you build with slabs, but I like pretty thing, pretty buildings better. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you're as excited as I am for this brand new series. It has been a little while since I played Skyblock and started a new world, so it should be a ton of fun. But until then, I'll see you in the next episode.